Thanks to our friends at Bridgestone, every Aaron's episode, we highlight saints in the community. Bridgestone is focused on creating equitable access and opportunity through sport because leveling the playing field is what really matters. Oh, we'd like to thank our friends at Bridgetone for sponsoring our errands in the community series. Who will this Saint spotlight be? Let me give you a hint. He's a New Orleans native. He played at LSU. He, you know, if you just say honey badger, that's going to give it away. They'll know it's Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew, how are you? I'm good. You want to run some errands today? Absolutely. Oh, it's another fun and fulfilling errands in the community ride with the one and only honey badger. You're in your 30s now. Have you outgrown the honey badger? You still like the honey badger? The current New Orleans Saint talks about his career and enjoys taking part in a Saint surprise party for a family, and in particular, a young Saints fan who is recovering from a boating accident and could use a pick-me-up. How you doing? Hi, how Tyron, are you? Matthew. Tyron Matthew. Nice Tyron Matthew. Nice to meet Matthews. you. Nice oh, to yeah. meet you, too. What's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> Tyron, nice to meet you. Making dreams come true. It's what really matters in this rendition of Errands in the Community with Tyron Matthew. So we've done a lot of these community events. Where are you taking me? Well, today, um, you know, Bridgestone has given us a great opportunity yeah. to, to surprise uh, a family uh, who, who, who really need it, uh, you know, in a really rough time. So, um, yeah, that's where we're going today. And you're going to give them tires? We're going to give them brand new tires, yeah. So they know about the tires, but they don't know about you. I don't think they know about me. Yeah, so that's going to make this fun. Yeah, yeah, hopefully <laughs> so, man. <laughs> but you see, the Blue family, Mom Shirley and son Kyron, have no idea that Tyron Matthew is on his way. Kyron could use a nice surprise as he was recently involved in a serious boating accident which severely injured his calf. Giving back for Matthew means as much as taking away on the football field. Why does this matter to you? Because a lot of athletes give back in different ways. But I really thought that when you came back to New Orleans as a Saint, one of the things that excited you was A, you're going to be in your hometown, but B, you can give back to your hometown. Yeah, and I think not just give back, but, um, you know, be present, yeah. right? And, and have these people, you know, or give these people a chance and opportunity to, to meet me, you know, person to person. The Tyron Matthew Foundation has been giving back to disadvantaged children for years. Matthew understands making a difference in the lives of Saints families in need. As growing up in New Orleans, he looked up to many local stars, one in particular. Did you have a favorite Saint growing up? Man, Joe Horn was like, Joe Horn was like that dude. I know a lot of kids like Randy Moss, but, you know, Joe Horn was like our Randy Moss. You know, just <laughs> a lot of showmanship, um, you know, a lot of flag. You knew what it was to be a Saints fan growing up or a football fan growing up in New Orleans. I mean, if somebody would have told you even, I don't know, 10 years ago, that you'd be playing for the New Orleans Saints, what would you have told them? I'd probably say, man, that that's, that's highly unlikely. <laughs> um, not impossible, but... Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, this is rare, you know, to, to have the career that I've had. A career where the Honey Badger was an All-American at LSU, a three-time Pro Bowler, a Super Bowl champ, and now reveling in his homecoming with his hometown team. If you could pick one word to describe your football career, your football life, what would it be? Ooh, I'd probably have to say exciting. Because um, it's, it's, it's been a hell of a ride. Along for the ride, Tyron has picked up a collection of memories and quite the nickname, the Honey Badger. You're in your 30s now. Have you outgrown the Honey Badger? <laughs> you still like the Honey Badger? I mean, it's cool, you know. Um, I mean, my coaches still call me the Badger. You know, obviously these kids, when they see me, you know, e even even old ladies sometimes, you know, like. <laughs> you know, part it, of you. Yeah, you know, so, I mean, it's stuck. I don't think there's a nickname like it. I mean, it's a one-of-a-kind nickname. <laughs> I think so, too. You know? Yeah. The Badger feels he has plenty of football left, and having been in the football spotlight for more than a decade, he's seen a lot in his 31 years. You are 31 years of age. You've been in the spotlight so long. How old do you feel? Oh man, I, to be honest, man, I'm you know I was working out with the 20 year olds, uh, <laughs> you know, this, this spring, and uh, I was keeping up with them. So yeah, I, I think I'm doing all right. Right. I don't feel too old. <laughs> Okay, the 31-year-old Tyron Matthew, what advice would you give the 21-year-old Tyron Matthew if you could talk to him, go back in time? Oh, man. I'd probably tell him to, you know, to, to stay focused, to, you know, keep going, you know, keep family first. Um, 
you know, and just, and just keep your dream alive. Speaking of dreams, time to make this young man's dreams come true. You're going to help a family in this episode of Aaron's, but you've seen the look of a young kid who gets your autograph and he's excited. And you've seen uh, a charitable contribution and a family that really appreciates it. What does that feel like when you do that for somebody? It's a good feeling, you know. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, honestly, I think it's a responsibility. You know, I think we have, you know, uh, as people that have more than what they need. Right. And, you know, so, you know, to have the opportunity to, to put a smile on somebody else's face, face or, you know, to, to bless somebody in a time of need, um, you know, I think that's what life all about, you know, extending your hand, trying to help the next person. Do you like surprises? This is a good surprise party. I, I do. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about giving back in the car. This is something you like doing, but to be creative in this way makes it a little more fun, doesn't it? Yeah, it's definitely fun. Um, so <laughs> I'm hoping the family enjoys it. This is a fun event, Tyron, but the fact she has no idea that you're walking in, I mean, she gets four new tires, but you're an added bonus. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So uh, I, I think I'm kind of popular uh, in South Louisiana, so uh, ho hopefully they recognize me. She will recognize you. Let's do it. Let's go. Shirley, you thought you were getting tires. Somebody wants to give you something else here. How you doing? Hi, Tyron you? Matthew. Tyron Matthew. Nice Tyron to meet Matthews. you. Nice oh, to yeah. meet you, too. What's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> Tyron, nice to meet you. You doing all right? Are you surprised right now? Yeah. You yeah, a little surprised? I'm okay. A surprised. Call me off guard. <laughs> I got some swag for you. You like swag? <laughs> yeah. If you want me to sign anything, I'll be more than happy. <laughs> you know what's funny? We walked in and he said, I hope they recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Tyron Bridgestone delivered tires for the family, but you got a little bit more. How surprised were you to see Tyron Matthew? I was really surprised. <laughs> I was happy too. How would you describe this day? Um, amazing, <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> a blessing, yeah. all of that in one big bundle. It's been a, a tough month for you. Uh, how does it help you uh, feel better having a day like today? It gave me a lot of confidence yeah. and strength. It's been really hard for him. He's very athletic, so he doesn't get to do conditionings this summer. He doesn't get to do Pee Wee League in August. He really gets to do nothing. He can't run, can't jump, can't get it wet. You know, so I think this was a morale lifter for him. He, he really needed this. It's something you probably never forget, I'm guessing. Well, where will this be moving forward for you? Right here. We got to huddle up here. You know what? You thought you were just getting tires today. You got Tyron and Matthew, too. Uh, this is what Aaron's is all about. Good day? Yeah, fabulous day. A blessing. Thank you, sir. You guys have fun? Oh, yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> nice, nice, nice to meet this uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> This episode of Aaron's in the Community is sponsored by Bridgetone, solutions for your journey.